Hello guys, Creator 438 here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. In the last oh sorry. In the last episode, we defeated Muldorm at the um, Tower of Hera and we got the last pendant, which is the pendant of wisdom if you don't know. And we also got the Master Sword, the Blade of Evil's Bane, as it's constantly referred to in the Zelda series. But we found out that Zelda was kidnapped by the Hyrule soldiers that are under that are controlled by the wizard Aghanim. And also, those fucking soldiers just fucking they killed the 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 guy who was protecting Zelda and trying to keep her safe. And he went out by disappearing. In this episode, we're going to be paying back the wizard, and I say, we make headway for, hi we hightail our way to Hyrule Castle. Because that's where the wizard is. Oh, perfect, I didn't even need to go to that uh, fairy fountain right there. Or that great fairy fountain. Wait, let me check the map. Okay, we can totally go through that first. Oh, well what? They mark on, they mark a skull on your map? I did not know that. Okay. So apparently they mark a skull on your map to show that shit's going down to Hyrule Castle and we need to go there. Also on the map I should mention that if you go to it and you see a sparkling thing, that shows where your portal that will take you back to the Dark World is. So yeah, and every time you step in a Dark World portal actually, uh, it gets reset. Fuck you. I just have my sword beams. The sword beams are OP if you use them right. But anyway though, let's just go. I reckon we're gonna be running out of battery power soon in the camera. And I know you guys are probably cringing like, oh, we record on camera. I understand, I understand. I really shouldn't be. But I don't exactly have uh, like a capture device. So now we can, just, we can just run on in here. Oh, we got the sword beams, they're OP. So let's go in. And here we are in Hyrule Castle once again. It seems like just yesterday that we were in here. Oh, actually, you don't want to go in here. Sorry. I just love this song, though. I love it in the length between worlds too. It's so awesome. So I actually want to go up here. I gotta sit up straight, man. If you don't know, I have scoliosis, so I need to. I got this. I gotta do this thing where like I gotta just sit up straight, keep my posture up. So anyway, we you may have seen this when we first started our adventure in the first episode. This beam thing, we couldn't actually break it because we didn't have the Master Sword, but now even the sword beams will destroy that thing, so yeah. <coughs> we enter here, and welcome to, I guess you could consider the fifth dungeon in the game, the upper half of Hyrule Castle. It's not really a dungeon itself, so we got two of these ball and chain guys, which I accidentally called them... I accidentally called their weapon a mace in the first episode. I don't know why. But yeah, you actually, they're, they're not hard to take out. You use your sword beams if you have full health and they just die. These guys are coming at you. You fucking use your sword beams. Got a key. Oh, actually, there's like a red rug that's showing you the door. We have like a piece with an eye. Or like a bat with an eye. I think it's, it's like the Dark World version of the Keys. Um, we'll get into what I mean about that later. Because I'm, I'm not going to talk about it right now. It's not really spoilers, but it's just not exactly... But at the same time, it's not exactly relevant. So yeah, it has to do with the Dark World, though. Because I did say Dark World variants. Fuck you. Let's get that. <clears throat> Alright. 
Uh, so this room is about to go black, yeah, see? So actually, that's what happens if you wait too long. Is that door open back up? It's the one back there. Uh, we need to get to that treasure chest to get a key. So yeah. Uh, that has rupees on it. We still have our sword beams, which are OP. Uh, what we want to do is, we want to go around here? Yeah, 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 we get the chest. So there's a key as a slightly different coloration in this place for some reason. This is, uh, uh, sorry guys. It's kind of weird. Again, I'm recording this very late, so that's why I yawned. Proton yawns. <laughs> it's just reminding me of proton yawns when they... When the runaway guys kept track of how many times John yawned in um, Mario Party, I think Shugga probably made that counter. <laughs> Back in the day when the runaway guys were actually funny, no, I'm just kidding. No, the runaway guys are still funny, it's just. They were very good back in the day. Like in Mario, Mario Party was the shit. Every Mario Party game they play is always good, it's always funny shit. But anyway, yeah, we're just kind of, not really much to talk about right now, we're kind of just going through this, um, wannabe dungeon, I guess. Well, huh, this is actually kind of, well, weird, there's no dungeon map in this place, yet it's laid out like a dungeon. Huh, weird. Well, I guess by that logic, if it has that layout, then it's a dungeon. But I, I'm not gonna count this as a dungeon. Like, officially, this is not counted as a dungeon. And I will not count it as one either. Just cause. So, we wanna light the, We don't have to light that, but we can. I just like to be able to see, you know? We got these guys. Oh, we're gonna flank them. Use my uh, third-person shooter strategies that I gained uh, from playing Splatoon. Anyway, we're going over here. Listen well, Link. Even with the Master Sword, you could not inflict physical harm on the wizard. That's kind of bullshit. It's called the Blade of Evil's Bane. Like, what the hell, man? And you can't, you can't even touch the wizard with it. You must find a way to return his own evil magic power to him. Alright? So that's kind of a hint. Anyway, um, it's not really stated in the game, but I assume that Hospital is the one talking. Yeah, yeah, so Hospital is definitely the one talking. It's not that Agena guy, he doesn't give a fuck about us. Probably doesn't even know our name. I'm just kidding, but still. Agena is basically a minor character. And it's definitely not that old man in Death Mountain. Cause just he can't do that, I don't think. So hospital is just the the guy though. Anyway though, we go up here. So we have to push one of these statues. It's not that one, but it's this one. We actually skip this room altogether. You don't have to deal with any of those guys. We can just uh stun that guy. Him back, stun him, then he's dead. Oh boy. We got evil music playing, boys. Let's go in. <coughs> Aha! Link! I've been waiting for you! <laughs> oh gosh. I'm just kidding. I was hoping I could make Zelda vanish in front of your eyes. Behold, the last moment of Princess Zelda! <coughs> ho ho ho! With this, the seal of the Seven Wise Men is at last broken! It is now only a matter of time before evil power covers this land. 
after all, the legendary hero cannot defeat us. The tribe of evil, when we are armed with the power of gold, ho ho ho, now I must go. Well, somehow he pulled that off, but, well I guess he, he is a wizard so he can go through walls. Oh, let's just check out this bed. I never really noticed this. It's like a uh, golden thing. Actually, now I think about it, I'm getting Wind Waker vibes from that. You cut that and check it out. It's passageway. Let's go in. Oh, so? You meant to say you would like to be totally destroyed? Well, I can make your wish come true. Here we go. We got a boss fight against Aghanim. What you want to do against Aghanim is, so he's gonna disappear and he's gonna like trans, he's gonna transform into that black puddle, and he's gonna warp to places, and essentially you just want to hit his magic back at him. He'll also hit those like the, the the huge like uh, magic balls are the ones you actually want to shoot back. That one right there. And sometimes like now, he'll go into the center and he'll shoot lightning at you. You want to make sure that you get away from the center whenever he does that because he will never change his angle and he will always just shoot at the center. So yeah, if you're off to the side, he will never hit you with that. So yeah, you need to hit these magic balls back because, they, because your regular sword won't do damage. Also, there's like a scattering one that will... There's like a one that will scatter. And that won't hit Aghanim. I think it can hit him, but it doesn't do as much damage. Oh, fuck. I, just, I took the bait there. Uh, interestingly enough, you can hit this back with the bug catching net, and we just beat him with the bug catching net. We didn't even need the Master Swords. Grug! Well met, like the true hero that you are. But I'm not ready to admit defeat yet. I will draw you into the Dark World! Oh shit. Link, it is I, Sahasrila. I'm communicating to you across the void through telepathy. The place where you now stand was the Golden Land, but evil power turned it into the Dark World. The wizard has broken the wise men's seal and opened the gate to link the worlds at Hyrule Castle. In order to save this half of the world, the Light World, you must win back the Golden Power. You must also rescue the Seven Maidens who Aghanim sent to the Dark World. As members of the bloodline of the Seven Wise Men, they have power that will surely help you. But the Maidens are locked in hidden dungeons, <sighs> full of evil creatures and dangerous traps. And he's not kidding there. The Palace of Darkness should be your first goal in this world. Link, I can rely only on you. Please make this old man's wish come true. Wish come true. I beg you. So we got fully, we got our health fully restored, and we got more music. Um, now we are officially well. We were in the dark world before, but now we're really in the dark world, and now we can actually explore it more than just on top of Death Mountain. So, thing about the dark world. Oh, there's actually a heart piece right there. So let's get that make some more progress in this episode, and that's actually a full heart container right there. Here we go. So now we have logged fucking... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I believe it's 10? Yeah, 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 it's 10. So actually we're halfway done with the heart piece, which is pretty cool. So anyway though, we're in the dark world now, and this is where the fucking... the baddies mean business. That's an enemy called Hinox right there, he throws bombs at you. And you don't want to get too close to them because they do damage. So yeah. And when I say damage, I mean damage. I touched that one Hinox, he did three damage to me. The fucking enemies here mean business, man. You take a lot of damage from these guys. So you have to be very careful to not take any damage. Or just as... As just not that much damage. You want to take as few damage in this place, in this uh, world as possible because the enemies are ruthless and they show no mercy. It's not impossible to kill them, mind you, but you still gotta be on your toes because 
one moment you could have three hearts left, the original amount of hearts you've had, then you touch fucking Hinox, and you just get wrecked. This way to the Palace of Darkness, so that's actually our next destination. Uh, let's see here. Um, I believe the- yeah, yeah, those guys right there, they are- those are Moblins. So, they are in this game, which is pretty cool. I don't know what, um... You know, I knew those guys' names before, because I had looked it up, but I don't now. Actually, I can't believe I remember that. I need to use the boomerang more. So we don't have our sword beams, so we just have to cripple old Hinox, and he can't do shit to us. So anyway, these uh, stakes we cannot do anything about yet, and yeah. So this place looks very similar to the light world because it basically is the light world, just not. So yeah. Uh, basically, I don't want to say we're gonna be here for the rest of the game because we will be. We will find ourselves going back to the light world uh, here and there. So, you don't worry, you're not trapped in the dark world for the rest of the game. I mean, you have the magic mirror, but you don't have to be in this place for the rest of the game. So, yeah. But, this is where the majority of the game takes place. And I think, personally, I think this is where the game really starts getting pretty fun. Like, if you weren't really having fun with the first three dungeons, then you're... Like, you weren't really impressed with how, like, the difficulty was, and you're putting difficulty in air quotes because of that, then, um, you're gonna get your treat because this is actually where the game starts getting pretty dang hard, and, yeah, it gets pretty hard, and if you like a challenge, then you like, you'll like the Dark World, I guess. But you might be dying a lot, because this place is not a joke. And yeah, wait, what's in this place? Is it just a shop? It's just a shop. Oh, there's actually different shopkeepers in this place. It's kind of cool that the, um, the people in this place are aware of the fact that you're in uh, a whole different world. Ooh, a blue rupee? Wait. Hold on. Every time you hit that tree, a blue rupee appears. Still not as good as a grinding tactic as I said, like that, um, one tactic. Where you just, like, um... You just fucking, um... You go to that guy's house, and you, you use, like, the... You pick up the pots, and there's, like... Like ten pots in that place, and they're all like they all give you blue rupees. There are ten of them, and they all have blue rupee in them every time you enter that place. So yeah. But anyway, let's go over here and let's read the sign. Curses to anyone who throws something into my circle of stones. Well, that means do it. Let's throw this skull in. Big fish. Was it you who disturbed my peaceful nap? I will give this to you if you go away. Check it out. This is the Quake Medallion. Its magic causes the ground to shake and defeats nearby enemies. Watch your magic meter. This is another one of those items that does that uses your magic meter. Huh. Those are supposed to be Zora counterparts, but I don't know what they're called. Yeah, yeah, the Bombos Medallion. No, wait, no, it's. It's Quake Medallion, sorry. The Bombos Medallion is another medallion, so now we know what all the medallions are. So, yeah, and the Ether Medallion is another one. So, actually, I'm a fraud because I li I, I didn't lie to you guys, but I fucking made a mistake. In saying that you see the, you get to read the ancient Hylian text with the Book of Mudora um, five times, but it's actually only four because I forgot that fish guy gave you the uh, Quake Medallion. 
because it only makes sense that the um, the ancient Hylia would have that um, whole thing going for them. Well, they just have all the medallions because they're basically like sacred treasures in a way. But whatever. Just kill these uh, moblins right here. And uh, I think I'm gonna end the episode off pretty soon, but just not right away. Um, see, the thing about the Dark World is we actually can't do a lot here right now. Although we can do... Actually, no, no, we can't because the state... The thing about the Dark World is it's very structured unlike the regular world of Hyrule and you do have to do things in a pretty consistent order. There's not a lot of free roam in the Dark World. So yeah, because they don't want you to sequence break and shit. Like we need an item that we get in the for, in the the Palace of Darkness to cross that area, but we can't do it yet because we don't have that item. But yeah, and that that's just an example of um, the idea that you can't. Um, of like they don't want you sequence break in the dark world and it's and it's a good idea because it structures the world and like I guess it's good because they don't want you to just break the game and just do whatever the fuck you want I guess like they don't want you going to places too early essentially but I don't know So that is an, that's what I was talking about, like if you hit a tree, sometimes you get apples from them. Apples will restore your hearts. Just like regular hearts will. Weird because I don't remember that tree being the one to give you apples, but I guess in the Wii U virtual console version it does that. Anyway though, I think we're ready to end it off here. Next time on The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, we will be going up this pathway and seeing what lies beyond. The Palace of Darkness is here like it shows on our map, but that crystal is where we, is where we have to go to. So yeah, we are going to be going to the Palace of Darkness and seeing what we can do there. So, see you guys then.